Alright, so back to the motorcycle build. I finished the motor mount and it's looking pretty nice, better than I hoped for. I, all I used to make that is just a jigsaw and um, a hand drill, not even a drill press, so it turned out pretty nice. I had to bore out one or two holes a tad bigger because I wasn't uh, right on the mark, but I mean it's really close. And I haven't even tightened up any of the bolts or anything and it's just absolutely solid in there, so yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, one thing I uh, haven't put on here yet is this little uh, piece. It's just an extra support. I didn't want any uh, like uh, sideways load on this uh, mounting point here. So I just made this. Um, this is actually from the last motor mount I had in here. Exactly the same idea. Just slides around that bar and it'll bolt onto the plate there. And uh, When the motor's applying torque, all the hopefully all the force to go through this uh, this bar and this metal plate here instead of this mount, so yeah, that should work out pretty nice. Also, I realized that uh, I was originally thinking of mounting the motor just like this, exactly how it is, with the two terminals right there and there, but uh, if I rotate the motor 90 degrees um, this way, then this terminal will end up over here, and this terminal will end up at the bottom, which actually, I was, the reason why I wasn't originally planning on doing that it's because I think I thought it was going to hit the uh, the frame somewhere or get really close, but it looks like there's actually uh, more than enough space for it down here. So I think I'm going to take this thing off again, even though it's a big pain in the butt, and rotate it uh, 90, and then put it back on. And yeah, she should be good. It's definitely really solid. So definitely, definitely good to go. I think uh, another thing I was thinking of mounting the. Uh, Motor controller, I originally wanted to mount it kind of right on top, right on top of the motor, but uh, I realized that if I take out the 12 volt accessory battery here, so I'd like to keep it, but I guess you don't really need it because I, I have a DC to DC converter. So yeah, if I take that out, then this controller can just slide you know, right back into here and you know, obviously down a little bit. and. Yeah, that'll leave even more space out here for batteries. So that's exactly uh, what I'm looking to do is, you know, pack this thing full of batteries. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that and uh, make my controller mount in this area here. So yeah, that's all for now. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really figure out how to take decent video of me cutting and drilling all this uh, metal plate. So yeah, hopefully I'll figure out how to, you know, Get some footage of some, uh, some next st the stuff coming up here, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, wait for the next video, and you'll see.